So let's take another look at uh, an example where we use the interconnection between KP and KC for a reaction. So I give you some equilibrium partial pressures for the species involved in a particular reaction, and then I say calculate KC. And I know this is being a little tricky because I can't directly calculate KC because I've discussed equilibrium concentrations in, in terms of partial pressure, or ATM. So that means this information can allow me to calculate KP, and then once I have KP, I will have to use our equation to convert that to KC. So the first thing I'm going to do is find KP. So I start off with my equilibrium expression. So I have my reaction products divided by reactants, and then I plug in my equilibrium concentrations, and in this case, this is an ATM. So I, I plug in the concentrations for COCl2, CO, and Cl2. And from this, when I plug this into my equilibrium expression, I get KP. And I know it's KP because we're discussing ATM here. So there's no difference. So remember with KP, it's still an equilibrium expression. The, the subscript P just means what unit are we using or what type of concentration are we using to discuss our, our species involved in our equilibrium. So now that I have KP, I'm going to want to use this equation that relates KP to KC to the now calculate our KC. So all we have left is we need R, that's our gas law constant, so we already know that. T, I told you that this uh, equilibrium expression was true at zero degrees C, and we need to convert to Kelvin. And then we also need to find delta in a gas. So to come up with delta in a gas, we look at the actual reaction equation and we particularly look at species that have the subscript G. So remember, delta in a gas is the summation of the stoichiometric coefficients of the gaseous products minus the summation of the stoichiometric coefficient of the gaseous reactants. So here I only have one gaseous product, so there's implied one. And then I subtract off the summation of the stoichiometric coefficients of my gaseous reactants. So here I have two gaseous reactants, so there's an implied one here, implied one here, so overall delta in a gas for this reaction is minus one. And as always, remember when I'm doing this, if there was a su subscript L or S, I would ignore that for this calculation. So now that I know what delta in a, in a gas is, I take this equation, I solve for Kc. Um, we calculated Kp already, uh, R is our gas law constant, T uh, was told to be zero degrees C or 273 Kelvin, and then we raise that to delta in a gas, which is minus one, and from there we get Kc for this reaction is 1.3 times 10 to the 10th.